When you play American style mahjong, do you ever question your decisions during the Charleston? This exercise is a really great way to build your confidence with that decision making. I call it Charleston Chain Reaction. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's do some Charleston chain reaction and test our instincts. We're going to say we're the dealer, so I'm going to take 14 random tiles. And then I'm going to just gather some tiles here and make sure that there are no jokers in here. And then we'll make a Charleston out of it. And this is just a mock Charleston. It is not meant to be exactly like it would be in a real game. It's just for practice. So I'm just gonna mix all these up and then I'll make Charleston passes out of it. That's it. Okay, right across left, left across right. So there are the incoming passes for us. Let's see what we can do with these tiles. Not a joker in sight. Whoops. Okay, let's see what we can do here. No jokers, but we do have a multiple. That is where we should start. The multiple. American Mahjong is based on multiples. There are singles and pairs, but Pungs, Kongs, and Quints, that's what the game is all about. So I would start there. We do have some consecutive numbers here. Two, three, four, five. Dragons, here's a five. Maybe we could play like numbers with dragons. If we're focused on two, three, four, five, I think I would keep the four because that's in a range around the multiple. You want to pick four numbers in a range if you have mixed suits. And that gives us plenty of tiles to pass. Before we pass though, take a photo because we got to rebuild this and we're going to do it again with a different focus. So for this first chain reaction let's focus on consecutive and see how it goes we could go ahead and pass these three west with odds we'll take a photo of that and keep the flower keep the three that's in our range now we have two multiples three five we could play little odds or we can stick with three four five we could even play little odds with the dragon the matching dragon we do have tiles we can pass here that's a little risky with a seven eight i think i would give up the four and break that up just a little bit at least it's an even with an odd Take a photo, keep the flower. Now we have a pair of flowers. That's gonna come in handy. This five, we might be able to get rid of. We don't need the eight. We could pass these three. Take photo. So this two with two, three, four, five, I think probably one suit is gonna be better. And I think I would keep the five because we could always switch to like numbers with fives and use the threes as joker bait. This nine, two is not a bad pass. The two and the nine are so far apart. The only thing that you can use a nine, two with is the addition hand. And that's just one hand. So I think that's not bad. Okay, let's take a photo. The four is in our range, so we'll keep that. And now we have two wins. Because of news, I would not pass two wins together unless I absolutely have to. We're far enough away 
to where we can break this up and mix that up a little bit. I think we have a three, four, five, four, five. I think I would give up the two. We could pass a two north, but we need one more tile. So if we're gonna focus on multiples here, we have the pair of flowers, three, four, five in one suit is an option. That would be the fifth hand down under consecutive run. We could also do three, four, or four, five with dragons. So we could, I think, probably give up the green dragon. Let's pass these three. And we have an incoming pass. Take a photo. Let's see what we have here. Three, four, five, six. Maybe we should have kept that two and gone for a pair hand. So let's see what we have here. We have one suit with a wind. So we have three, four, five, six, four, five, six, eight west. Maybe we could pass the five, eight west. It's a little risky being one suit with the five, eight, but it's not too horribly bad. Oh, we got a three and a flower. I don't know if that's going to help too much unless we play one, three, five, switch to little odds. Let's just look at that. Last hand down under little under odds, two flowers. So we wouldn't need both or all three here, but we could play one, three, five with the dragon where we've got a gap of no one though. So I think we're kind of in between. I think I'd probably give up on the pair hand so we could do a full pass for optional cross. I think probably three, four, five with flowers is going to be the hand to play here. We got the two back. We could still maybe play the consecutive pair hand or the consecutive Kong hand, fifth one down. So we ended up with probably, well, five discards, I'd say. Well, really even more than that. Three, four, five. I think I would still hold the flower and the two and the red and just stay flexible. You don't have to pick a hand till you run out of discards. So let's see if we could make something different work. I think like numbers or odds was another option, like numbers or odds. So let's rebuild and see if like numbers or, or little odds would have been better. Like numbers or little odds. Okay, so here we go. So this is what we started with. Okay. So definitely we can get rid of the wins. We have two, three, four, five. I think we could probably get rid of the seven, eight. Let's see here. If we did odds, we should keep the odds. Let's give up the evens this time. We could pass maybe these three first. I would not pass an eight, two together because of the year category. So I think I would pass these three. Let's rebuild the Charleston now.
Okay, I think I got it. Goodness. That took a while. Okay, so let's see if we could do odds. Let's see here, odds. Okay, here we go. We'll pass these. We got an odd and a pair. Oh my goodness, look it, we have another one. Oh wow, maybe we could play that odd pair hand. Looks like we have way too many tiles. Nope, we got the right amount. Okay, the odd pair hand, third one down, two flowers, one, three, five, five, seven, nine. Here's a three, five, and a seven. We have tiles we can pass. Let's, let's pass these three. There's a flower and a nine, and we have tiles we can pass. There's a nine, two north, five. That's not bad. I would go ahead and give up the five. Focus on two suits here. West, north, four. That's not a good pass. I would try to break that up. So I'd say we have to pick a hand here. We have three, five, nine. I'm thinking this, the pair hand, even though we have gaps, I'm kind of thinking of the pair hand. Let's break this up and pass these three. Okay, we got like numbers and yeah, I would not pass that. I think I might pass this. Really the six, nine is just as risky as an eight, nine. If we kept the nine though, we might be able to go back to something odd. Let's pass these three. Okay, we got a three and a dry, uh, flower. And we have tiles here we could pass at least. I think I would give up the nine. I'm thinking little odds is probably going to be the best here. You know what though? There is the mixed suit one, three, five hand second from the bottom. One, three, five in one suit pairs, Kongs of seven in a second suit and a Kong of nine in a third. Let's give up the nine dot and pass these three. I'd say we're in between little odds or that mixed suit hand. Oof. Yeah, this was not so good. If we, uh, six discards to get to little odds. Yeah, this is not good. This was a terrible outcome. I think consecutive with three, four, five, two, three, four, five. I think the consecutive category was definitely the better category for this set of tiles. So the first chain reaction, much better results. We do have some joker bait. I think I picked the wrong tile. I needed a nine bam. I don't remember what that, oh, that was a mess. Yeah, I still think that the consecutive was a much better category for these tiles. What do you think? Do you think consecutive run was better? Write it in the comment section. If you saw something different, let me know. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you'll maybe learn a new strategy or pick up an inside of the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next chain reaction for American Style Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.